Hi there. I'm Hugh Burns. I'd like to welcome you to the Southern Colorado Rhetoric Society. Today we'll be exploring landscapes, the traditions, the transformations that landscape mean to uh, how we communicate, how we treasure our students and our colleagues and our scholars. Finally, it's going to be about metaphysics and physics and logic and rhetoric and poetics. That's my message for us today. So I've embrace the whole philosophy of what we do as rhetoricians. So welcome to Colorado. Aristotle reminded us that we should use all the available means of persuasion. Certainly new technologies like mobile telephones, uh, internet websites, Twitter, Facebook, those are new ways of connecting us to our community, and to our surroundings, and to those people that inhabit our landscapes, the most important being our students. Aristotle would love this place. If Athens could have been in Colorado, I bet we'd have a whole new kind of rhetoric. A rhetoric of awesomeness. My colleague Kevin Hamilton and I are creating a digital archive featuring Department of Defense nuclear test films from the 1950s and 60s. Uh, in our own research on the Cold War, we sort of discovered these films and we want to give them scholarly life in digital form for other scholars. <laughs> I'm bringing my humanistic sensibilities to a project on technology diffusion and development between the Global North and South. It's taking the form now of a collection uh, being published online for interaction and in multimedia by the University of Minnesota Libraries. So I'm looking at it as an alternative publishing project as well in digital humanities. I'm looking at presidential rhetoric. I've been traveling to the presidential libraries, collecting speech drafts. I've got thousands of copies of the, the words from the presidents themselves and their handwriting, the speech writers that have informed that discourse. And I'd like to make that accessible on the web to all scholars and students who can use that information without having to travel to the library. So I'm looking at creating a digital archive of video of speech drafts to uh, enable us to further explore presidential rhetoric. here at the Air Force Academy filming a video on critical thinking. Today we'll be talking to members of my English 111 composition and research class about what they're learning about rhetorical knowledge, critical thinking, writing and reading, knowledge of conventions, and composing online. Thanks for being with us. Hi, I'm Cadet Carpentier and right now we're working on the Rogerian argument. Basically what we're doing is we're taking controversial subjects and we're trying to express a common ground in our essays. Go. Hi, my name is C4C Kalikin and I learned that for a jury in the argument you gotta find the common ground. I study um, histories of writing instruction um, specifically at the Albuquerque Indian School during the 1960s and 1970s. My project looks at the intersection and the tensions between old media and new when dealing with soldier stories. I'm developing the prototype for a knowledge base to be used by scholars who are interested in the life cycle of feminist texts in rhetoric and composition. I am creating a digital archive of the portfolio assessment process at Eckerd College. I study delivery in long 18th century Britain specifically hand gestures. 
I do research on Jewish film, Jewish audiences, and sites of exhibition. Hey, thanks to all the Thunder Pups at Colorado State Pueblo for hosting the Southern Colorado Rhetoric Association. I was proud to be here and I hope we can march on in the cause. objects in the mirror closer than they appear to be. It says it right here. Finally it's going to be about metaphysics and physics, and logic and rhetoric and poetics. That's my message for us today. <laughs> <laughs>